Today we're taking a look at the eScoot ES Max, which is a electric scooter that has some pretty dang impressive specs. Also the box is way too big for me to fit on my table, so we're going to have a fun time trying to lift this sucker up uh, for an unboxing. These tires are massive and it's fully charged out of the box. Dang. Okay. Thing is massive. It smells like a new bike. That gets more expensive than a new bike for sure. Well, I guess then there's only one logical thing left to do, which is to go try it out. So, let's talk scooters. This thing is fast, 19 miles an hour. Uh, makes me kind of nervous when you're going that fast. Uh, the previous scooter I reviewed was up to like 16, so uh, it's a little bit faster, and um, you can set it up so it uh, starts automatically without um, having to push to start, which is great. The throttle control, I wish there was a little bit way to control the throttle, because for me, especially with the back wheel being the motor, um, it makes it a lot more uh, tempting to uh, fully throttle it and get going. Um, that leads to some interesting circumstances, though. Uh, for example, the other scooter that I reviewed, um, the Okai Neon, has the motor in the front, so that way if you you know throttle it too much, uh, all it does is spin out the back tire, whereas you know, you get lifted up. It's not like your, um, I don't know, front wheel drive, basically, standard front wheel drive, is that, like, if you lose, you know, you can only throttle it so much before you lose traction, and you're not really, like, bucking, um, whereas the, this right here, the back wheel is, so most of your weight's on the back wheel, so you have the, you know, you have, you could technically wheelie, but it's, you end up with circumstances, like, if you accidentally press the throttle and you have both handles on, then it sends the scooter flying, because uh, the back wheel's got the motor, whereas if you accidentally press the throttle when you're like trying to lift it up or something, instead um, it's just the front wheel. You're doesn't really go anywhere. Um, hinge on this is pretty robust. Only issue or only complaint I have is like the Okai Neon has um, it set up so that you can lock the handle and then carry it with the where, where the wheel the handlebars are or where the handlebars are. Um, whereas this. The locking mechanism only is serves to for storage, so you can unlock it. It's robust, but you unlock it and then you put it down. Also, battery life is a lot longer than the Okai Neon. It's a bigger battery, of course. Um, the motor is about the same. Uh, honestly, though, pref you know, preference-wise, um, I really, really like the fact that this is like robust. It's heavier. It's got independent front suspension. There's a lot more metal, aluminum. It's robust, um, but. For me, the things that I've really enjoyed with scooters is being able to carry them easily, um, you know, not as heavy, uh, so that I, that way I can, you know, carry it up steps or something. Because you know, places like college where I'm riding this is has steps everywhere, so you need to. And there's only like so many ways you can get through certain spaces without steps. So steps are, matter of fact, how it is. So carrying it in a much more easier fashion, especially when it's super heavy. Uh, is you know understand i understand this is like a, a basically a product that you're supposed to use to like commute and it's not supposed to be a little screw that you can pick up and carry i understand that um it's robust the only thing i also will mention is that the button on here is a little squishy the button on the top is you have to push it down a bit um to get it going um or obviously you can lock it with your phone um the app also seems very how do i say this uh Less professional way, it seems very. Uh... Whereas the Okai Neon felt like a professional app, the best way I can describe this is something that uses a lot of. I don't know, it feels like someone made like a bunch of graphics, overlaid them in there, and a lot of the buttons seem off, the color scheme seems off. Um, I understand it's orange, that's the color they chose to go with, but um, it's just off. Um, and the app just seems dated almost if that really makes sense um so i understand the app is cool and all 
um, was a little bit difficult to navigate, especially with like it asking for a password um, at first. Uh, zero, zero, I think it's six zeros in a row was the default password, which I couldn't find that anywhere in the manual. I looked for a bit. Um, so yeah, interesting, very interesting in that way. Um, honestly though, physical design, I really have not many complaints. I wish there was a way to lock the handle to carry it. Um, but everything else is extremely robust. Like this is something that you could reliably commute to. Um, very, very robust. Um, whereas the Okai Neon, there were some things that were, especially that hinge and stuff was sketchy at times. Um, this is the hinge. Once you have it locked is not coming off, uh, unless you unlock it. Riding it also is a very interesting experience. Um, the shocks are a little, I don't know how to say this, really tight, so it vibrates a lot. Um, obviously, it reduces what you feel, um, but it, you do get a lot of shakiness. Um, you know, it will dip, and then you get some a little bit of shake afterwards. The ride is relatively smooth. Obviously, with these kind of scooters, you're getting basically separate suspensions. Um, Okai Neon only had back suspension, so the front handlebars were still, um, you know, rather, uh, you know, directly touching the ground. Personally... Uh, I find this one a lot more attractive as like a like a more practical commuter. Like if you wanted to get places reliably um, and you didn't want to show, you know, be shiny because Leo Kani has got a bunch of lights on it. Um, and I personally, at least when you're talking about a scooter, you're carrying around something that's rather expensive. Um, you want something that's not going to draw attention, in my opinion, uh, whereas the Okai Neon was really, really flashy. So this is modest, but it's also very reliable, rugged. Um, gives me that vibes. So, at least in my rides around with it. Um, so, the Okai Neon has rear suspension. This, uh, the S e Scoot ES Max, has front suspension. That means that, in my opinion, I actually prefer the back suspension just because it makes the ride a little bit smoother. Your handles are not, your ha hands are not that important, whereas the suspension over your weight, it rather is. Um, the handlebars going up and down does not seem to make that much of a difference. Um, even if there's, you know, have their shocks in them or whatever. Whereas I feel like the back where you have most your weight on has some room to kind of like shake and stuff. Um, especially with the back wheel, with your weight above the back wheel, pretty much it makes for a lot smoother ride. So honestly though, it's not that big of a noticeable difference. And given that there is, this is larger, slightly more expensive and much more robust. Um, this is definitely something that if you just want a straight shot, and you're not really lifting it up or having to take it like inside places, um, this this would be very valid. Um, I don't know how you would lock, well, I mean, there are some ways to lock this up. This That's also something that's important is like locking it up. Um, you definitely, between the suspension bars on the front, you definitely could put a lock through and I feel like that would not go anywhere. Honestly though, overall, design is great. Um, only caveats, of course, is that like, it's rather difficult if you have to lift it up. Um, that means if you're going over steps or something, uh, maybe consider something else. This is a rather big scooter. This is something that's supposed to go a long distance, get you a place and get you back. But thank you very much for watching, uh, the review. I hope you had a wonderful day and check out other videos for, um, more scooters or, uh, other really stupid crap that we do on this channel.